So great job yesterday on our ectopic question during our triage Tuesday. As many of you recognize there are a lot of red flags in this case so when we're dealing with ectopic pregnancies we want to look for big red flags these can include signs that show that the pregnancy is rupturing severe one-sided pain diaphragmatic irritation which can often radiate to the shoulder lower blood pressures tachycardia you'll often see an adnexal mass and the uterus will be empty all of these are signs that the pregnancy is not located in the right spot and it can threaten the woman's life the most appropriate next step in this case would be immediate surgical management. Most of us will do this laparoscopically. We do a diagnostic laparoscopy where we place three small incisions on the belly and we place a camera as well as a couple of instruments in order to see what's going on, confirm our diagnosis, and then treat the ectopic pregnancy. This gives us the ability to remove the ectopic pregnancy, treat the bleeding, and to evacuate all the blood in the abdomen, preserve this woman's health and fertility couple of important facts about ectopic pregnancies. They account for about 1-2% to of all pregnancies and are one of the leading causes of first trimester mortality. Sometimes we can treat these with medications, but surgery is recommended when there's significant pain, signs of hemodynamic instability, or when the fallopian tube is already damaged. Ectopic pregnancies are scary, but most can go on to have healthy future pregnancies after surgical treatment. You definitely need to seek help when you have a positive pregnancy test and severe one-sided pain, vaginal bleeding that doesn't feel normal, dizziness, fainting, or shoulder pain. You're going to pass out. That's when you need to go to the emergency room. Overall, ectopics are very scary, but when managed appropriately, they can still have really great outcomes. Thanks for following along. I hope you learned something today.